देखो नरेश प्रोफेसर ने गलती की है You wrote M1 into M2 instead of M1 minus M2. Oh, sorry. Let me change that. Thank you for pointing that out. We all make mistakes. So now we're finally done. Hello, Professor. आप कैसे हैं? मुझे कोडिंग दिखाने लगी है. डिस्प्ले बोर्ड चाहिए. आपका स्वागत है, Professor. हो स्वालों को खबर क्या? हमें फिजिक्स क्लास में कोडिंग सीखने की क्या जरूरत है I will teach you how to write a program that can calculate the acceleration of an at one machine. Is it going to be in the test? Let me go to Apple dot it. It's not too easy to type while holding a microphone, but I've I've got it. So, okay, so our first line will be hashtag include io stream, so that we can access all of our functions in C plus plus. Don't forget to put those little less and greater signs uh, outside the I/O stream. Now we'll write using namespace std with the semicolon at the end. This is to make sure we, that we don't have to write extra code. Without this line, we would have to write std double colon everywhere. Now we write int main double parentheses double brackets, which is basically our control center. Oh gosh, this is difficult. I have to talk, hold the mic, and type at the same time. So, how do we expand on this? How do we turn this into an algorithm to solve at weta? So, we need to make the separate values of m1 and m2. If they are the same, then our acceleration will be zero. So, if we remember from our at one machine lecture. Acceleration should be equal to g times m1 minus m2 over m1 plus m2. So let's define acceleration by saying double a, where a is for acceleration. Now we need to get some user input. So we first need to ask them what m1 and m2 should be. To do that, we will utilize the count or character out function, which gives out text characters so that you can send messages to the user. So we'll ask them what is M1. Sorry, it's a bit tricky to write. Not gout, cout. My father, father will probably say gout is more terrible than cout because he gets gout every six months. <laughs> Professor, क्या आपको वो बताना जरूरी था? Oh, the rat is listening. I had to test it. Anyway, this will、uh, send the user a message. Dang it! It's so hard to type with one hand without looking. So what is M1 done? Now we use our operators, which are the little less signs, and then end it off with end l semicolon, which stands for end line. And now, how do we get them to respond? Well, that's a bit tricky, but it basically starts with sin, which stands for character in, which, as you can guess, allows the user to enter characters into the program. Then we put greater signs as operators instead. And now, since we asked the user for the value of m1, we will set their response to be the value of m1. So we write m1 after the operators. Then we just add the semicolon and boom, user input. We can do the same thing for m2. Come on, how do I write end out there? We got it. So now let's write count again. And now we find the operators on this keyboard and write the same thing. So this is a bit of a hassle, but the same thing. So it's essentially cookie cutting. You might be asking why I'm not copy pasting. To be honest, I don't know. So we're done with the user input, and now what are you you two fighting over money? दरअसल, यश ने ही मेरा कैलकुलेटर छीना था. If you use your brain for a calculator, then neither of you will snatch it from each other. All right, keep going. So now we will define acceleration as a with double. And if we remember from our previous lesson on at one machines, acceleration in at one machines is equal to g times parentheses m one 
minus m2 parentheses, which we can use an asterisk for, and then put around parentheses and divide it by parentheses, m1 plus 2. Okay, so it's a pain to write this, but it'll be fine in the end. Maybe. All right, so we're finally done with the whole acceleration equation. Now, we just need to present the final answer to the user. So we will say... Dekho, Noresh. Professor ne galti ki hai. What? But he does not make mistakes. Noresh, I hold you to telling Ajay uh, I made a mistake. You wrote M1 into M2 instead of M1 minus M2. Oh, sorry. Let me change that. Thank you for pointing that out. We all make mistakes. So now, we're finally done with all of this calculation. So we will write, your answer is, don't forget the count. And now you put the operators, make sure to put the quotation before, then put A. So it will display in the quote what the variable A is equal to. Now, we will write more operators. And we will write another set of quotations, just for a period. Then we write our endline command, and we're done with our program. So, this is our admin machine program. And let's test out the values we used before, which look to be 3 and 5. So, if we plug that in, I'm waiting for the program to load. Okay, if we plug that in, we get 2.4525. Great! That means everything is working perfectly. So now, may I distribute the homework? Thank you so much, everybody, for the round of applause. Now you know that coding and physics are so interconnected that they're two faces of the same coin. Now, let's get the homework for tomorrow. Feeling a bit tired after such a long lecture. Can you distribute the homework for me, Akash? No problem, Professor. I will homework. Namaskar, everyone. See you next time.